Hi guys, it's just gone 1.30 in the morning, actually I think it's 1.35, yes it is indeed. Um, I'm still awake because I went for a walk, I had a bit of indigestion and uh, that seemed to have cured it, a little bit of a walk, so um, I've got Nemo on my lap. I'm just putting the USB cable for the camera out of the way. Um, at my mum's today, it was that day of the week. Um, I've got some footage I'm going to put on the end of this video of Mum's garden of the finished deck. Well, the decking's almost finished. There's just some trim around the edge, but it's near enough finished. The extra paving he's done, and he's added some gravel in places, which looks nice. Um, the garden really does feel homely. It really does feel much more homely now, much more welcoming, because it's, it's not just a big square bit of green which is dull and boring, so I think he's done well. I still think it needs a water feature. Not necessarily a pond, because there isn't a lot of room for something like that, but just a water feature. You know, one of those that just stands in your garden and it just pumps the water round and round in a cycle. QDS has actually got one for 30 quid. I was tempted to buy one and actually put it in the flat. Because I do like, I like the sound of water features like that. But, uh... I actually haven't got anywhere to put it, <laughs> unfortunately, but uh, never mind. Um, <clears throat> I've got lights fitted to the bike now that uh, I built in the last video, which looks like, no, it's still uploading. I'm going to wait much longer for that to upload. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going to turn the volume down so I don't get distracted by that. Um, I'll show you those in a minute. Catch Custom Trikes is coming up tomorrow. <clears throat> now, she told me she's going to leave about 7 o'clock in the morning. So we can have, you know, a lot more time doing what we need to do. And hanging out rather than just a few hours. Which is good. I'm up for that. I We'll have to go across to like Sainsbury's or something at some point. Um, I don't know, maybe we could go for a walk over there together or something. Um, so I'll make her a cup of tea because I ain't got no milk. I ain't got a kettle, but I can boil a saucepan of water, that's not a problem. I did have. She did give me a kettle, but I actually dropped... can't remember what it was, but I dropped something on the base and broke the base. So now I'm without a kettle again. Anyway, so she should be here around about 8 o'clock in the morning. She's bringing her computer tower with her for me to uh, have a look at. So that will probably appear later in this video, or will probably be the next segment, actually. Um, she doesn't like being on camera, so I can't film while she's here, which is fair enough. <laughs> I'll just wait until she's gone home and then we can have a look at the computer. You know, just me, you, and uh, see what's what. Um, I think she's looking to have it put into another case. I don't know why, because I don't think there's going to be much wrong with the case she's got, but again, I don't know because I haven't seen it. Actually, I think I have when I've been over to hers, but I, I can't remember what it looks like. But anyway, I've got some cases she can choose from, so that's not a biggie. Um, oh, I've got the parts to do the rear brake on her chopper bike as well. So, uh, I got f actually, she asked me for a padlock if I had a spare one, and yes, I have actually don't know where the keys are but I have got spare padlocks. Actually the keys are going to be probably in one place and that's the junk drawer in the kitchen. <clears throat> ah, ah, ah. I'm not going to get up Nemo. I don't want you jumping up here just for me to kick you off again. Because that's not fair. Right. I don't think there's anything in here. So I'm just going to show you that bike. Here we go. Um, I put, I bolted the actual lights on last night, about two o'clock this morning, actually. <clears throat> um, got myself into a bit of drama on Facebook, and that really did piss me off. 
Um, and I said catch custom trikes a message on um, Skype and it came out completely wrong. Um, it actually sounded like I was snapping at her and I wasn't. But uh, I will openly apologise to you, Catch Custom Trikes, for that one. It didn't come out how I wanted it to. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I sat here, bowled the lights on, and then this morning before Mum picked me up, I um, did the wiring. So they now work, and they work from the dyno hub down the bottom there. Obviously, it's the wheel hub. I prefer those. I would love to get hold of some more. I've got one more wheel which is rusty as hell. But does work. <clears throat> um, but the beauty of these dyno hubs is not only does it have, you know, the th gears built in, the 6 volt generator for the lights is built in as well. Hence dyno hub. Short for dynamo. Dynamo hub. Um, and it's got a lot of advantages. With the bottle dynamo that rubs on the tyre, you've got the extra friction, which can wear out the side of your tyre, especially if you use them regularly. Plus, <clears throat> with the extra friction, it does make pedalling um, a bit more of a chore. Uh, with a dyno hub, you eradicate both of those. Um, Plus all you've got to do is flick a switch on the headlight. <clears throat> so, there's always power going to your light, you know, whenever you're pedalling, but they won't work unless you flick the switch. Oh, sorry, I just caught the handlebar, so. Just a little switch on the back here. Some of them have to, um, pardon me, the switch on the top. <clears throat> it depends what style of Sturmy Archer light you got. But it is a pair of Sturmy Archer. Don't know if that rear light would have originally came with that sort of headlight, but they are both Sturmy Archer at least. I want to do a bit more cleaning up in here, but we're going to mums and whatnot. I just haven't had the time today. I shouldn't have been such a lazy bastard yesterday and done a bit yesterday, but never mind. That's the only case that's not up for grabs. I still want that one. Um... <clears throat> I might even let her have the Lenovo, that, I'll try that again, the Lenovo case. Um, obviously not the gubbins that's in it, but I might let her have the case. I haven't <laughs> decided yet, but I've got this one. But uh, the better ones would be the Asus cases, if she wants one of them. Just because they're, um, they've got better cooling, better airflow. Anywho... <clears throat> Cough it up. <laughs> I'm gonna disappear, I think. Head to bed. I'll leave the PC on because it's still uploading that video. And wow. There's no actual estimated time. It just says it's 16% uploading. Or well, 16% uploaded. There's, I could actually cancel it and just start it going tomorrow while I'm actually, yeah, I'll do that, sod it. Yeah. Uh, before I go to bed, we've had a post reported. <clears throat> I don't start playing up. Oh fuck it. We've got close Firefox. <laughs> the other admins can deal with that. Go on, close, shut down. Ah, better put another bottle of cola in the fridge. Just in case Cat's Custom Trucks want one. I don't think she's going to be here bang on 8 o'clock. It could be a little bit before, it depends when she leaves and how long it takes her to get here. In the meantime, I will see you later on when we'll take a look at Cat's computer. Right, 
it's now Monday afternoon. I was going to say Wednesday afternoon for some reason. Catch Custom Trikes has been. Here's her computer. 3P on the top of it. So move these out of the way. Here's the side panel that I removed earlier. That's what's inside. This hasn't got a card reader either, I have uh, just realised. Right. It was full of a lot more cobwebs than this. That might be why it's overheating. I mean, if I do this on the uh, Wi Fi card, are you ready for this? That's on the Wi-Fi card. And, uh, yeah. It'll clean. Um, so what I'm going to do is consider putting this into another case. It's got DDR3 RAM, so it's got good RAM. Uh, it looks like an AMD processor. Going by this style of heatsink it is. Um, I'm taking this off because I'm going to see if the um, thermal paste on the processor needs doing. I think I'm just going to redo it anyway. If I can get the bloody thing off. Mm. No, that's the one arse. But AMD sockets, they are a pain in the friggin' ass to get off. Get off of there, you son of a bitch. There we go. Yep. That ain't gonna help either. Because that's um, pretty much uh, <laughs> dry as a bone. I'll just uh, stick you over there. Can you see that? It's a... Uh, dry so that will get redone. It's alright, I've got lots of tubes of that. So I'm going to leave the processor in. Yeah look at that, it's even dry on there. That ain't going to help the overheat either. Because um, she said it's fine until it's been on for about an hour and that's when it just gets so slow beyond use. Um, I've got some cables here which I have no idea what they're for. Probably going to use a different power supply or put something a bit better in there. What's this for? A cable here and I have no idea what it's for. What's it running? I don't know. I've disconnected it now anyway. Bloody cobwebs, I tell you. Right. I'm going to grab us something to eat. I'm getting a bit done the peckish side. I don't know what I want though. Probably something from the chip shop. Just a portion of chips, I think. Feel like anything else with it. This is actually, um, this looks like a fairly decent motherboard in here. Smack myself in the nose with a cable. Yeah, I've got cases. Actually, before I go any further with this, I'm going to have a look at my other cases. Um, Because I've just realised I can tuck a fan in there, but she wants illuminated fans, and uh, I can't really do that with this case. I've got a small illuminated fan, that's not a problem. Is the... I'll have a look, see then, that's what I'll do. Oh, has a look see. Oh, 
yeah, I'm going to use a different power supply to this as well. Because there's adapters and everything everywhere in this. And I don't know what else, a big bunch of cable there. Unplug that. Oh, we've got Samson in here. 250 gigabyte. Yeah, I'm not sure I've got anything bigger than that. So, what I might have to do is put that in my caddy. Transfer the files she wants to keep to my main computer. Then I can format this and upgrade to Windows 10. Go and find a better video card for it as well. This has only got the onboard graphics and it's got um, VGA and DVI on the back here, which you can probably see actually. There's the DVI and there's the VGA. Right, I'm trying to get this out of here. Look at that. You. Yeah. <laughs> it's a D Link. Plus extreme. Now I've got a funny feeling that when we reinstall Windows 10, it should install that all automatically. What's that? That's another fan cable. Yeah, I'm not worried about the um, DVD drive. I've got something better. made this put the USB ports like that I have no idea it worked but it wasn't necessary <laughs> it just means it uh, used up both USB sockets when it when they didn't need to they could have just uh, stuck these side by side I might have pulled those off I can't remember what way around they go well Look in another case, that's not a problem. Right. I am gonna leave that there. I do need to pop back to Sainsbury's. I've already been there once today. But I totally forgot I needed some margarine and some bread. I think what I'm gonna to get to eat will be a um, portion of chips from the chippy and some bread and butter and I'll make some Oops. some chip butties. Right. I've got to need a little rag or something to use the dust cloth. Chuck those over there. Found my Pepe up. Pepe Le Pew. I've got my two Tazzers as well. Stick those up here on the PC. Right. So I need to grab another case. And go grab something to eat so I'll be back later on. Alrighty, I've got everything out of the other case, so before we start, clean this down, clean it off nicely, you can use an alcoholic wipe if you have not I haven't got any so that's the first job. Do the same on the heat sink itself. So we've got two nice clean surfaces. That's the original one that came off. I'm not using that. I'm going to put a larger one on. First, I'm going to put a fresh dab of this stuff on. Now, you can. 
to stick a blob in the middle like that. I don't do it that way. I put a blob on. And then I like to get a nice even coating all over the chip. You don't have to do it this way, this is just my way of doing it. Like that. Not good even coating. Well, I've got my kitchen roll here. And, uh, put a heat sink. Already, um, already did a test to see if this would fit, so I know it's going to fit. Nice and tight. Plug the fan on. There's a few things that disappointed me when I took this PC apart. Um, one of which, whoever built it, didn't use all the screw holes to uh, screw the motherboard in. There are screws missing. Uh, just bear with me for a second. I want my brush, which is just here. Because one well, I've got it apart. Let me the dust. I've also got my boots on, so static shouldn't, in theory, be a problem. I've never had a problem, and all the times I've, you know, built PCs up at this bench. I had a problem with my boots on and whatnot. Right. So that's serviced. We've got an upgraded cooler on it. Something a bit big, bigger than that pissy little thing that was already on it. So I'm not surprised um, you were getting an overheating problem with this cat's custom trike. So I'm really not surprised. I'm just going to move you a little bit so I can get another case up here. Just uh, rearrange you a little bit. Right. This is the case I've picked. I can't get the full size big fans on, but. can get a smaller one actually with a slight modification to the side cap side side panel the side panel rather not the side panel I might be able to uh, get one on there if it dust down the um, thingy card now first thing we've got to stick in is the IO plate in like that. Sometimes really easily as that was and sometimes there are a pen in the back side. I don't know if I'm going to get to fitting, um, no not fitting, get to uh, install Windows 10 and whatnot on it but uh, it just depends how bored I get. Plus, I've actually got to hobble down to uh, the chemist to get my uh, antidepressants. That might be why I'm a little bit crabby the last few days, because I haven't had them. I really, really shouldn't do that. Fuck. I don't want to do that either. Um, the, only, the one thing I will say Whoever built the PC in the um, in Cat's Custom Trikes original case did a good job with um, cable management. Cable management was good. Um, did a couple of things I personally wouldn't have done, like what he did with the USB cables, for example. He could have put both on one USB header on the board, but for some reason he didn't. Or she. It may have been a she, I don't know. 
be she it screwed one of the power connectors underneath. I wondered why this one screwed down properly. <laughs> Theory, if I just take out these two, there we go. Well, that top screw just screwed in a lot easier. You've got to double check things like that. Right. I'm not going to put the hard drive in yet because I need to use my, uh... excuse me, one second. I need to use this that like that so I can rescue what files I can um, why do they make these cables this long in such a small bloody case They're far far longer than what they really need to be um, I'm going to change the CD drive because it's uh, Molex and unfortunate or um, IDE I should say. In other words, I can't get the front of the thing off. It uses one of these cables instead of uh, one of these. And the problem with that is this motherboard, I have Cat's Custom Trikes uh, computer, hasn't got a socket for one of these, so doesn't matter. I have got one. I've got some cables, or just some sort of cable management going on already with this. Wait. That does mean, though, I've just realised, I've only got the one SATA power connector, which doesn't matter because Cat's custom trikes, she's got one there, so he has an adapter. I haven't got a better power supply than the one that's already in here, so I'm going to leave that. And the one that was also in um, her original case is shit, basically. A, uh, yeah, a pile of poo. Good. I'll take that off. Wi-Fi card in, I need that left off, don't I? For a second there I thought I'd lost the antenna. Well, that would actually matter too much. My brother's got one on one of his computers. The one that he actually bought for £5 from a car boot, and uh, it's just got bits of wire hanging out of the back. So, that be the antenna. I'm going to go digging around. This is why I'm not sure if I'll finish this off tonight, because I've got to go digging around in my cupboard in the bedroom, in that top cupboard where I keep all the computer spares. Because, uh, I need a video card. I need to remember where the front panel is on this. <laughs> um, oh, there it is. That's okay, I found it. I was just having a bit of a dipstick moment, that's all. Uh, do I get these? Seriously. <laughs> Should have put these cables on first. I'll do a job this isn't screwed in. I'll get as far as I can. I'll uh, then shut the camera off. front panel is as easy as plugging that on. See, some front panels have one plug, like this one. Others have them all separately. I brought you a Having a single plug like that makes life easier. What's that? Is that USB? Cool. USB, and I presume the green's the audio. Yeah. I'm just 
realised I've got to put This um, DVD writer, unfortunately, it's got all the card reader built in, but like I said, I can't use it because it's IDE, not SATA. So, <coughs> I'll take the side panel off anyway. I'll leave the camera rolling while I'm doing this. What's the time? It's not even 6 o'clock yet. But, uh, <coughs> Don't know about a frog in my throat, I certainly had something anyway. Remember where I put it. It's right under my friggin' nose. Handy to have a card reader on there. I don't think they get used a great deal these days, but I still think it's nice to have one fitted. So there's that, nicely fitted. Easy screws. Oh, they are screws. There's a couple of these. Oh, there is. Let's uh, try that again. And there, just make sure it's still lined up at the front so it looks nice and tidy. Let's get the ROM drive out. Oh. Pardon. I went and got my chips and had chip buddies for D, T rather not D. Right. I think I only need one of those. Eleventh of the tenth, seven. So eleventh of August, two thousand and seven, by a guy called Pete. It's actually got a sticker on it. He did a good job, I have to say that. Two screws either side for the card reader. That's actually quite interesting. I'll, uh, I'll just show you that. You see that? Right there. <laughs> How cool is that? It's got the guy's uh, signature and the date on it. Slide that one in. Screw this one in. I'm going to be good like Mr. Pete here and I'm going to put screws in so it's nice and screwed in nice and properly I should say. Cable management isn't too bad either. Once I've now got this last screw in this side. 
I'll budge it a little bit. Someone's having a horny time out there, aren't they? Tell you what though, after eight years you kind of get used to it. That worked. <laughs> Should we try that again? That's on the floor, but I've got a box of them up here, so it doesn't matter. I think I might be in the way of the camera a bit, aren't I? Sorry, didn't mean to get in the way of the camera. Uh, side panel for this is here. It's got a Windows um, XP sticker on the side there, but it's irrelevant. I've seen these cases come installed with bloody Windows Vista on them. Ace has just had this habit of reusing old cases like this for quite a while. No idea why. But, uh, I suppose if they worked, why get rid of them? <laughs> but I bet they gave each one a different model number. And I bet the Windows XPs were a different name and model to the Windows Vista. Don't know if they actually came with Windows 7 at any point, but... Alright, we're good. That's all in and swapped. Lay that down. See, as I've said before, cables like this, they're... Um, Usually self-explanatory because on a lot of motherboards the um, headers that they go on are labelled. These are usually labelled although you can follow the cables back on this one so they don't need to be labelled. But uh, they will only go on one header and the card readers go on the USB headers so you just look on your board and it should say something like JUSB I'll have a one and a two next to it. This has actually got um, a socket on this motherboard for USB 3. Mm. It's actually giving me an idea because I have somewhere when I can find it got a USB 3 tray but I don't know if the plug's going to fit that header. If it does I'll fit it for you because I don't have a use for it. Right. I might just stick a cable tie or something around these cables to keep them down the bottom there out of the way. Well actually if we stick this in there, that, that'll help keep that cable out of the way. So again, four pin connector, there is only one spot on a motherboard this will go, so it's not hard to do things like this. Or I don't think it is anyway, maybe I don't think it is because I've been doing it for a long time. Not as long as I've been um, playing around with bicycles though, but I have been, you know, playing around with computers for a while. This is actually nearly ready to go, all I've got to do is sort the hard drive out. And go ahead and put this in now because I can get to the USB 3 header if I need to. Can't put the thingy on yet though because I've got the video card to put in, so I've got to go and get a video card, fans, um, sort that out. And we're ready to, ready to go. Told you it wouldn't take me long. Cat did ask how long it would take me. It doesn't take long. The adapter on. Why have I only got one of these? That's far too long as well, so I'm going to go through my. Oh, hang on. One here. Six SATA connectors on this as well. I'm jelly. Well, sort of jelly. <laughs> I actually want to upgrade mine to an Intel motherboard. This is an AMD. 
I don't know why I've just I've gone off um, AMD for some reason. Tuck this up there. So it looks tidy. There's no gap up there, is that? Right. This is getting a bit fiddly now. Because I'm, I'm getting cables in the way. Let me see if I can do it blind. Just make sure I've got the plug up the right way. Yeah, I didn't have it up the right way. Another socket is there somewhere. There we go. See, I did that blind. And I'm going. Right, we are ready to turn on. One illuminated fan so far. That's not a good start. Actually, I know what that is. That's, um, yeah. That's a dodgy VGA cable, don't worry about that. That's the um, actual video cable here. <clears throat> That's just booting straight in there. Yeah, I don't want it to do that. Should we try again? get an option to boot from CD or am I going to have to go into BIOS and change it? No, I'm going to go into BIOS and just change the boot order. Don't panic. I have rescued everything you wanted off the hard drive. So that's absolutely fine. Where is this not? Understand why that's not. Um, I might have to go and get another VGA cable as well because that is looking horrible. It's not the monitor. I know the monitor works. I know the video card works.
Okay, let's try it again, shall we? One's proven to be fun and games. Give me a bit. Okay, I figured it out. It was me, I'm not used to um, modern BIOSes. Ugh. Um, I was only switching the UEFI boot menu, not the actual boot menu. But I sorted it. I didn't realise there was two types in the um, boot list there. I just thought that was one long list. But uh, here we go. We're on the way. I don't think this is going to take that long at all. I don't know if this graphics card is actually any better than uh, than the un onboard ones. We'll just have to find out. Oh, when I went to get my meds, pick these up. Sugar free. Lovely jammy, give them like that. Just little chews, fruity chews. Better format the whole thing. I found out why your PC was so slow, Cat's Custom Tribes. It's because it was so full of friggin' shit, basically. Apart from the few games you had, everything else was just junk. So, we'll start again. There we go. There isn't a lot I can do now apart from um, let it do its thing, so I'll be back in a little while. There we go. Working. All I need to do for you is install a couple of bits and bobs. Uh, pardon me. Uh, every time I connect a new device, it goes through this. No, I'm a big boy. I don't want parental controls. Go away. Uh, stick your an antivirus on. Uh, got 
this fan at the moment that lights up. You can see it from the front. Actually a bit better than I thought to be honest. Um, it's not the one I wanted to put on. Because uh, the one I want to put on is too big. There's no audio working at the minute so I'm going to have to sort that. Could be a driver problem. Well, it will be a driver problem, but I'll solve that. But uh, everything else is installed fine, so I will get the audio. I won't give it back to you till the audio is done. But uh... ah, well, that's. I wonder if that's why it hasn't come up. Um, I'll solve that in a minute. It might be because I haven't got the connector because it's asking me to connect it. Right, well, I'll troubleshoot that later then. Install that one. Uh, by the way, I personally don't think Microsoft Edge is that bad. In fact, on my Acer laptop I use Mums, it works better than Firefox. Firefox is really pissing me off at the minute. Anyway, um, I noticed you had that before, so I'm going to put that on. Um, Again, I did this last time. I didn't think, well, I can't get you a fan on the back here anyway that lights up. And I really, personally, I don't think there's any point because you can't see it at the back anyway. Because it's always away from you, so. Well, unless you've got a case like mine, which has got the um, transparent panel. No, actually I don't want to get it from here, do I? Always go from the genuine website if you can. Pardon me. Run. Yes. Well, as you can probably tell, your Wi Fi is working as well. Um, it's not actually the video card I want to put in here, but I can't put the one I wanted in here because I haven't got an adapter for it, a power adapter. And uh, at least for now, I don't have a power supply for it either. So, uh, we'll see. If I didn't, then I'll have to find a way and get the other one stuck in there. I think I've been bitten around my middle or something. How's AVG looking? It's multitasking really well now. But, uh, all apps. Let that open up. Wee, there we go. Uh, Windows system. What kind of control panel? got four gigabytes of DDR3 memory installed and I'm pretty certain you're running an identical um, 
an identical AMD processor to mine from the looks of it. Um, I will double check that in a minute because I'm curious now. Right. I don't know about you, but I prefer to get the address right, would help. Um, Google is my home page, so there we go. So when I click, there we go. Right, I'm going to find an audio cable, so I will be back later. Thanks for watching, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you hate it, give me a thumbs down, and uh, I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye.